Hi, welcome to Good Reader's Review. I am Anya and this is my review of The House in the Pines by Anna Reyes. If you already read this book, write down your honest review in the comments section below. Before reviewing the book, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. This book is 336 pages in length and written in English. The book publication date was January 3, 2023. This book genres belongs to thriller, mystery, mystery thriller, fiction, suspense, adult, contemporary, psychological thriller, and adult fiction categories. The House in the Pines by Anna Reyes is a standalone psychological thriller. Maya, the main character of this story, is haunted by the mysterious death of her high school best friend seven years ago. Her memories are very hazy, with her unable to remember the past, as well as trying to get herself off of her addiction to clonopin. While in high school, Maya started dating Frank, who seemed a bit of a loner, and her best friend, Aubrey worried about Maya and her relationship with Frank. Maya began to act strange, not able to remember some things, and when Aubrey mysteriously drops dead, while sitting across from Frank, Maya suspects that somehow Frank had something to do with her death. Unable to prove anything, Maya leaves town to go to college. Seven years later Maya sees a YouTube video, showing a woman who suddenly keels over dead in a diner, with the man sitting across from her, being Frank. Plunged into her nightmare, Maya decides to return to her hometown to find out the truth from all those years ago. She is determined to find a way to get past her trauma, and learn how Frank is manipulating people. Maya's Guatemalan father wrote an unfinished book, that when she reads, she begins to suspect the unique connections to whatever Frank is able to do. As the story races to its climax, we do discover what is happening, but with that said, I do not want to give spoilers. You will need to read this book to find out. Overall, I did have mixed feelings about this book. It was a unique story, suspenseful and interesting. I just thought there was too much going on between the past and present, leaving me a bit confused at times. Early on, I did like Aubrey and Maya's friendship, and Maya's mom was very good. Frank was a bad character, especially the more we learn. The House in the Pines was well written by Anna Reyes, as for the most part, it kept your attention throughout, with suspense, memories of the past, addiction, and confronting the truths. If you like psychological thrillers, I suggest you read The House in the Pines. It also had suspense, interesting characters, and a thought-provoking storyline. If you enjoy psychological thrillers with unreliable narrators, then this may be the book for you. And if you really want to read this book, you can take it from the link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy this content don't forget to subscribe to my channel and please feel free to give it a thumbs up or share it with any other fellow.